hello everybody welcome to this video training today we are going to talk about the role of the of, of the switch in the local area network we know that the switch forward frame by using the MAC address now the question uh, you may ask is how the switch know the MAC address of a device that are connected to the LAN the switch began collecting the MAC address of a device when that device initiate a communication to another, to another device on the local area network. Uh, most often the initial uh, most often uh, the initial communication of a device connected uh, to the local area network is what we call an ARP request. Uh, so we may ask the question what is ARP? ARP is a protocol that stands for Address Resolution Protocol. So it is a protocol used by uh, devices in order to find the MAC address of the, of the intended target of, or in order to find the MAC address of the destination devices uh, for the communication. So I hope you guys understand that. So like you see up here in this example, in this presentation, I have a switch connected to four PCs. So let's assume that we just uh, set up this local area network. So now PC1, if PC1 wants to talk to PC4, uh, what's going to happen? So uh, like you see up here in this presentation, PC1 will say, I want to talk to PC4, but I don't have, I don't have its uh, MAC address. So and he's going to ask the question who has the MAC address associated to PC4 so he's going to use the PC4 IP address just like you see up here in this presentation so uh, so now uh, the, the PC1 will send the ARP request will send an ARP request asking for PC4 MAC address and uh, put in mind that the, the, the switch will see the, the ARP request as a frame so this ARP request will contain the PC1 MAC address and the source uh, as a source MAC address and and uh, uh, a MAC address with all F that's going to be the destination MAC address as you see up here in this presentation it's going to be a PC1 MAC address and uh, uh, the MAC address with all F that's going to be the destination because PC1 doesn't uh, know the MAC address of PC4 that's the reason why this destination address is uh, by default all F so this is what we call a broadcast a broadcast address just like you see up here in this presentation so now let's get back to the switch when the switch receive the frame it will first look at PC1 uh, it will first look at PC1 MAC address the switch will check check what we call the the MAC address table because all the switch have a uh, switch have a MAC address table that the that table that's where it the switch store uh, um, uh, the MAC address learned in, on the network. You, the switch will check its MAC address table to see if it has an entry for PC1 MAC address. Since we know that PC1, uh, uh, since we know that the switch doesn't have any entry in its table, the switch will add PC1 MAC address to its table, uh, to its table, um, uh, to its MAC address table. So it will also add the power where the MAC address come from. So. So in order to uh, uh, in order to understand all these things, let's go to Packet Tracer, and I'm going to show you what's going to happen in action. So you will uh, have a better understanding on how the switch work on the local area network. Okay, like you see up here uh, with Packet Tracer, I have the switch with four PCs, just like I have it on the presentation: uh, PC1, PC2, PC3, and PC4. And I give them an IP address like you see up here. PC1 is 192.168.101. PC2 is dot one hundred two one hundred three for PC3 and 104 for PC4, PC4. I hope you guys understand that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to initiate a communication between PC1 and PC4. So I'm going to try to send a ping from PC1 to PC4. And you're going to see... Uh, that ARP request uh, that I'm gonna, um, I was telling you just now, how the, this ARP request will be sent from PC1 to PC4. So I'm going to go to simulation mode. I'm going to edit up here. So I'm going to put, uh, uh, I'm going to just choose ARP because that's uh, what, what I'm looking for right now, the ARP pack, uh, request. 
So I'm gonna go is up here to PC uh, one. I'm gonna go to the command prompt and I'm gonna f uh, do a ping a ping 192.168.1.104 okay now the ping is sent by PC1 so let me forward the, the frame so this frame arrived to PC uh, to the switch up here so let's go to the switch from the command line up here so we're gonna do a uh, enable and we're gonna do show show MAC address table to check the PC uh, the switch MAC address table and you see now it the switch has learned the MAC address of PC of PC uh, PC1 if you go back up here you see the MAC address of PC1 is here because this switch this live where I told you has just received the, the, the frame and it's gonna look uh, it's gonna look that it's gonna check its uh, MAC address table so when it see that it doesn't have the MAC address for PC1, it will add PC1 MAC address uh, to the to its table. That's that's what you see up here. And I told you it's gonna add the port where the MAC address come from. The type is here up here. That means dynamic. So so that was dynamically learned by the switch uh, because you have another option. So you can uh, do uh, 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 static configuration for the MAC address, but I don't advise to do that. So uh, now the final, uh, the next step is to send the, to send the packet up here. You see this packet is then ARP. I told you it's a broadcast address. It's gonna go to all the PCs, but the only PC that's gonna reply is gonna be PC4. Yeah, like you see up here, PC4 is gonna be the one that replying. So it's gonna send back uh, uh, the ARP re uh, response. That's what I call that. This packet is an ARP response. So if you go, if you go up here, uh, if you go back to the switch. Let's go back to the switch up here, and we're gonna do uh, show MAC address table again. And as you see, the switch has the MAC address for PC4, just like I told you. Because when PC4 uh, responds for uh, for the ARP request, that ARP response is gonna contain. Uh, so let me open this packet. So you're gonna you better you will uh, gonna understand a little a little bit better than uh, what I'm saying right now. Uh, you see up here the 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 source. Uh, uh, this is an ARP request. So the source, the destination uh, MAC address is going to be PC1 because this is an ARP response from PC4, and the source MAC address is going to be PC4 MAC address. And uh, just like the same uh, process I told you earlier, the switch is going to look up its table. Uh, it's going to check its table to see if it has PC4 MAC address. Since the uh, the switch doesn't have. PC4 MAC address is gonna ask, is gonna add the PC4 MAC address to its uh, uh, MAC address table. So uh, I hope you guys understand this process. So uh, this is very important. You have to understand this uh, uh, this uh, concept because it is a very powerful concept that you need to uh, to understand to in order to uh, uh, manage your uh, switch on the network because this is very 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 important. So just put in mind that. Uh, in a local area network, the device, the first communication the device make usually is an ARP request. And that ARP request is going to help the switch uh, populate its uh, MAC address table uh, by, uh, uh, by grabbing the uh, MAC address of the sending, uh, the device that sent that ARP request. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. I would like to thank you for watching and I... Uh, uh, see you for my next one. Thank you.